When I joined the company, we were like 50 million in revenue. When I left, we were about 1.2 billion. 8.7 million. Your house is so sick. Would you be able to show? This one just sold for 14 million. How much does this kind of house go for? 15. Career? Million? 15 million, yeah. Today we are in Newport Beach, California, one of the most expensive cities to live in in the world. The houses that we're going to check out today are between 15 and 20 million dollars. We're going to go up to locals, knock on some doors and find out what do people do for a living and get advice from people like you and me. Hi, yeah, we just love your house. We were walking by, curious if we have a few minutes to chat. What kind of things do you guys do for a living? Yep, no, we're not interested in disclosing any information. Thank you so much. All right, you have a great day. Thank you. 8.7 million. Let's see. Oh, we just love your house. We're doing a documentary about Newport Beach and just thought your house was great. So, have a good day. I got the rejection from the ring camera. They wouldn't even reject me in person. We're doing a documentary of what it's like to live in Newport, and we just love, this, the houses on this street are just unbelievable. So we just wanted to come compliment you and say hello. Oh, thank you. What, what kind of work did y'all do? Or? We, we were in the strawberry business. No way, really? Yeah, we were strawberries and vegetables, and that's sold, so cool. sold that, and then kind of fell into the uh, wine business. So we're, we have several vineyards up north, and so we kind of second career. How did you guys get into the strawberry business? Well, my husband was in Future Farmers of America in high school. He had a strawberry project in high school where he planted strawberries. He had a stand on Tustin Avenue in Orange where he did all of his stuff. So that's kind of where it started. Huh, but how do you go from selling strawberries on the street in Tustin to, you know, these, these very nice houses? We started a processing business. So we not only had the fresh strawberries, but then we processed them for freezer you know, like for margarita drinks and, you know, like... Oh! Stuff, you, know, you buy them in the freezer bag. Yeah. And, you know, all that kind of stuff. And just kind of grew the business for 30 years and sold it. And that's when we bought this. A lot of our audience is trying to just learn what to, what to do with their career. So, yeah. you know, we go to different areas that have nice houses and we're like, what is... You know, see if people will chat with us about it. Be an honest business person. You know, always tell the truth. Don't try and BS people. Know what's really important in life. You know, it's your family, it's your faith. You know, those are your core values. You know, if you're successful, you gotta give back. Is there a way to see the view, like from down here, or is it like? Well, you didn't just come up is that a? Yeah, I, I got my dogs upstairs. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah. This it's is pretty... Jan. This is amazing. Yeah, come on out. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we have a big deck downstairs and a big downstairs area with bedrooms and a big, you know, kind of party room downstairs. Wow. And, yeah. And then it has steps that go down to the beach. During the summer, it's jam-packed with people. This time of year, of course, you know, there's nobody. I mean, this is still great there's now. There's a big parking lot down there in the summer, you know, that's all jam-packed with people, you know, that are at the beach. Or you can, you know, park up on ocean and you can walk down this walkway and come down to the beach. What, what do the other people do to be able to afford these kind of places? Just business owners. In different you know, kind of verticals? A, a little bit of everything. You know, amazing. It's a pretty amazing spot. It really, it really is. Very lucky, very blessed. We are. We thank the Lord every day. Your house is so sick. Did you guys like custom build this? Oh uh, yeah, my dad's the architect. Is he really? Yeah. Can you, t uh, we have, we're doing a documentary about Newport and what it's like to live here. Hello buddy. Yeah, and this house is just amazing. Yeah. Can you tell us about the house? Yeah, I can have him come out. Um, he said knee surgery, so he's not feeling that good. Dude, even you talk knows is cool. Well, let me see if I let me see if come out. He can explain the whole. Design. Dude, awesome. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hey, hey. Out here. How you doing? Dude, what an amazing house, man. What are you guys doing? Just enjoy Newport Beach yeah, and the great people cool. out here. Film crew from where? Uh, Texas, Austin, Texas. A lot of the videos we, we produce, it's more around like people on their entrepreneurial journey. Mm -hmm. I'm past mine. You should be interviewing this guy. This guy is the amazing one. The house we'd love to hear about. This is so cool. Yeah, give him the vision. Yeah. Is it possible to do a tour? Would you would you be able to show? It's going to be messy. Yeah. And so you built this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a disaster at the Mondo. Wow. It's, yeah, it's going to be messy in there. Dude, the art is cool. Cool right now. Um, uh, wow. Are you still an architect? Yeah, you still no, I'm still an architect, but nah, I'm, I'm retired. I don't do anything. Is that a, a lot of our audience? You What's sit that? around and what? Play chess? No, I just sit around and do nothing. No, I, I no. we play chess, we travel, we got grandkids, we got dude, all that kind of stuff. It's fun. Is is that a career you'd recommend, the architect for for people? Architect's really 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 good if you're creative and you um you have a right side to the left side of your brain and you and you want to use both of them and it's really great if you can design and develop at the same time so you're the owner and not just uh, not just designing something for someone else's dream but you're you're doing it for your own dream yeah. and profit. 
That's a good thing. But this is stuff that we used to do. Oh, so you designed that? that yes, sir. Is that, yeah. It's like we used to do this. this is, yeah. Wow. It's like churches and stuff like that. It's like, this it seats like 3,000. Wow. How do you stay grounded or how do you remember? Like, I think you start seeing this every day. How do you remember to be like, damn, this is awesome? God. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly, God. It sounds real trite, but that's not, that's, it's the truth. It's like, once you're grounded in your spiritual life and your relationship with God, everything else is easy. Everything else is easy. You know, it's just like, because you don't matter. Success doesn't matter. This house doesn't matter. Okay, although to me, physically, yeah, it matters. But in a bigger reality, it doesn't matter. How did you and your wife both find your passions and your careers? My wife always says, find something that you absolutely love and make it a career and you'll never work a day in your life. And that's the truth. There's a bigger reality than this reality. So whatever you're doing, it's gotta be for someone else's glory, not your own glory. Because what that does, it makes it, if it's all for you, Everything about life is so myopic. Everything about life is about me, me, me. Mm -hmm. And it's not, um, it's not a healthy way, it's not a healthy existence. And I think your, what you're doing for you doesn't matter at all, okay? It needs to be something longer lasting and something of a bigger scope than just your reality. This, this world is a training ground. You're given certain things and certain things are taken away from you, but it's how you deal with them. What do you do when you lose everything? What do you do when you get everything and you're the, on the top of the mountain? What do you do? Do you just sit back and it's all about you or not? It's a larger perspective that it's really valuable and it's really valuable, I think, to pass on. This one is just sold for 14 million. That one just got sold for 24.4 million. Kind of want to see the 24 million one if they'll show it to us. One, I love the mezuzah, I'm Jewish too. We're, we're doing a documentary about what it's like to live in Newport Beach and I thought your house just looks amazing. It's okay. I even tried to drop my Jewish stuff. I was like, bro, I'm a Jew, you're a Jew. We're all Jews here. Think about this, how many people in Super Rich open their own door? One, someone should be open the door for you. But two, you don't open your own door. What, it's not safe. Don't even knock, my dog is hungry. This means no soliciting. This means if you didn't call, aren't a friend, you're not carrying my mail, you don't have an appointment, aren't family, are pushing your religion, and you're not handing out million dollar checks, don't even knock, my dog is hungry. Hey! Hey! By the way, this is probably the best sign I've ever seen. Uh. Now I feel like I should even t say hello to you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you live here? No, we live in Austin, Texas. So we just came, oh. out, here, so okay. we came out here because we heard it's a, a really nice place, one of the best in the world. Yeah, 55% of the people who live here are retired. Are you retired? Or I'm you? retired, yeah. I was in commercial construction. I built data centers, hospitals, or other part of the business was, you know, the uh, technology campuses for, you know, Google, Facebook, all those wow. guys. So they're, they're, they're office campuses. And then the big, big part of the business has been uh, data centers. Really? You know, the, uh, hotel, yeah. Hotels for computers. Do you remember your first paycheck? Like when you first started in this career? $21,000 a year. It's come a long way, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my retirement gift. Hold your hand out, see how heavy that is. <laughs> oh, that is actually really heavy. <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Allen. Now, did you did you sell the business or you were like a principal? I was, I was one, I was, Dude, was you know, I was one of the owners in the business. It was a sub S corp. Damn. <laughs> You're one of the, so, wow. And so it, I was, I was one of the major, major shareholders, but, uh, and is it still a private business? It's still, a, well, it's still a private business. They went to C Corp and they've got like, uh, wow. I think 160 shareholders right now. It sounds like you're an entrepreneur. Like you built an entire company that, that did all I this? I was part of a company. When I joined the company, we were like 50 million in revenue. When I left, we were uh, 1.2 billion. They just bought another construction company. Now they're like at 2 billion. Do you recommend for people that want to, you know, be able to live in a affordable place like this, getting into that kind of work? You, you get into work, whichever is your passion. That's what drives you. If you don't have passion about what you're doing, then you know, you're, why do it? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Great, just hanging out in Newport Beach, talking about what it's like to live here. All right. What's your favorite thing about it? Obviously the weather. Uh, yeah. What do you do for them to be able to afford to, to live here? I'm a writer. So I just, I live in the back house of this house. How much does this kind of house go for? A lot of our audience is people in their early in their 15, career. Million? 15 million? 15 million, yeah. Is there any way we could have a tea with you? Sure, yeah. If you're enjoying all the lessons from these self-made millionaires, you are going to love the newsletter I send out every week where I share three golden nuggets that will add value to your entrepreneurial journey. It might be a business book that shaped my thinking, a productivity app that I'm digging, or a YouTube video that impacted me. You can sign up with the link below or by going to okdork.com slash nuggets. 
And make sure to let me know what you think by replying to the email. I check every single one of them. That's okdork.com slash nuggets. What kind of stuff do you write, Leonard? Uh, children's books, screenplays, poetry, uh, everything, short stories. How did you get your clients or how do you sell your work? Well, I had a children's book published by McGraw-Hill okay. about 15 years ago and it got into school systems and it sold lucratively for a decade. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, this is sick. Hey, look at my view. That's Catalina. Wow. Dude, this is great. Check it out out here. <clears throat> I got the nice view of Newport Coast, get the sunrise and the sunset. So. Literally the living the dream, Newport yeah. Beach. Where's the book that you sold? You said you sold it for years. Uh, sit right there. So you wrote it in Spanish? No, I wrote it in English and they came out in Spanish. McGraw-Hill put it in Spanish and that's when it got into the, the Legend of the America series. That's so crazy. It's going to be a movie too, Journey to Hunab Ku. What advice do you have for someone else who's thinking about getting into books or art or children's stories? Do it. You know, people, it's funny, people always come up to me and say, I want to write a book. What should I, how do I get it published? You write the book first. You know, that's, it just escapes people. You know, they're thinking about how they can make money from it, how they can get it published, how, what's the process. And I tell them, just write the book first. Try that and then go from there. What do you think the right way to live is? My mother used to tell us when we had a problem, she said, imagine those dust specks in the room when the sunlight comes in. Say the earth was the size of that, that dust speck. Okay, so the, the Milky Way would be 100 million football fields. That's just the Milky Way. And there's 100 billion, 100 million of those football fields and 8 billion of us on that dust speck. And your little head, that problem is inside that not, it doesn't even exist, your little head. So how big is the problem inside it? And we would go, thanks, Mom. You know, it's a good perspective. Yeah, so I, I use that as a centering device sometimes to think about you know, how absolutely unbelievable this all is. You know, it's just fascinating. It's just mind-blowing, you know? So I think if you lose that sense of wonder, you, you, you've lost a lot, but maybe you don't even know if you never had it. Three tours of houses, $15 million places, Super amazing people, super kind people, a lot of different ways to live your life, whether it's architecture, whether it's selling strawberries. I think one of the things for everyone out there is that we did get rejected a lot, but go find the things that you're interested in. And yes, you're gonna have some challenges, you're gonna have some people say no to you, but you also have a lot of people like Jan, like Leonard, uh, super kind, generous, who uh, are rooting for you to win out there. If you like this video about Newport Beach and all the interesting people out here and what they do, you are gonna love this video right up here where you try to get on a private jet and find out what do these people do for a living and advice for people like you and me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come on, just go do it. Uncle Noah loves you and I'll see you out there. Pew, pew.